Hey guys, Shadney back and I've got another layout to share that is a sketch. Well, another sketch to share. So today's sketch, you see right there, has this big banner down the front in the middle and it's got a couple layers. I've already gone ahead and to make this video a little faster, kind of pre put together part of the layout. Um, I took this yellow striped paper. It is um, from a Stampin' Up! set that I just shared the other day on that I got yesterday and then I did a layer of coral cardstock and then for a very thin border and then a layer of white textured cardstock it's just very lightly textured you know I don't like a lot of white cardstock backgrounds because it just isn't enough so for me because you know I like a lot of everything so I've but this one I feel like there's enough going on that the white doesn't really take away from it you don't it's not like overwhelmingly white so it I think it works in the end but so what I've done is I've just cut a big wide banner it's a little over six inches wide I think and then I've got these three photos they are scaled down to a little less than two inches wide and then however tall that makes them I use the um pick to size app or photo size app something like that um if i can remember i can mention it in my description um and i will link the sketch that has the in the inspiration and all that and the printables which i've already cut out and punched out um and you can see across the top there the labels and the tiny word stickers i've hand cut but the little tiny embellishments and the memories those are with punches the small embellishments are a half inch circle punch and the ones for memories is a three quarters inch circle punch and it's got like a very light white i mean a very narrow white border around the pink that you can't really see very well on here but that's what it is um so I've got this big wide banner. I went ahead and inked the edges just very lightly just to give some distinction because the right side's a little lighter than the left and you couldn't really see as well where the white and the blue ended and met. So, um, and then I went ahead and cut out a bunch of layers to go behind the photo. Oh, that's what I was talking about. On the print to size app, I did all my pictures on a four by six so they're all a little less than two inches wide and then I just matted it in white just regular cardstock I left them as one strip instead of do matting them separately just to keep it smaller and fit better on this banner and in the sketch I would assume it's probably about a four by six picked photo for the sketch but that's the photos I wanted to use for this for the paper I was pulling out this is what I, I wanted all three photos so um I go ahead and arrange the memories there across the banner and then I pull off this create thicker word and India's painting in this so it's all about create like creativity so create memories like painting and things so <laughs> Um, so I went ahead and layered up all those papers behind the photo and adhered them together. I have a new edge punch that I just got from Amazon and it is the circled, it's I'm trying to think of how to say it. It's like a binding edge, but it's circles instead of the squares that I've been using. So now I'm just lightly adhering the circles for memories across here and I'm overlapping them just slightly and then I'm going to go with my sewing machine and stitch them down just to add some extra security and just a little bit of um just texture and a little more decorative detail I really thought I was going to put that paint bucket right there between like above memories but like kind of next to create at the beginning of create but it just didn't fit right once I got everything adhered down so I do move it to the top in just a second I just went and sewed the memories down I cut that out because it was just a blank screen while I turned around and stitched it and then came back I am going to go ahead and adhere the banner to the background first before anything else 
but I didn't want to stitch through all four layers of the banner and the three background layers, so I went ahead and stitched it before I'm attaching it. Although I did stitch around the white, the coral, and the yellow cardstock, so going through three layers isn't bad, and I'm sure I can go through four layers. I just didn't want to deal with breaking a needle or anything. It was just easier to do it this way. I am adding foam behind my photo, and it's just plain fun foam. And just to pop it up and give it a little bit more dimension on the page. Because right now I feel like everything's kind of flat. I've not gotten very much on there that's not, and I haven't added any of the embellishing after that yet so and I w that will help I do still feel like it's not as bright or it doesn't have as much contrast as I think some of my layouts do which sounds weird because it seems really contrasty now but in the end after I add stuff below I feel like it isn't as contrasting I like how it turns out it just isn't I don't know it doesn't feel like my normal so I'm going to layer a couple of these tabs right here at the top. I'm going to do date and the one that has all the little colorful hearts. And it just happened that this paper, the yellow paper and that painted looking paper in the background that I punched the border punch from are both from the crafty paper line that I had gotten from Stampin' Up! that I said that might be discontinued or not I mean it's discontinued but it might be available or not um it just accidentally like turned out that it matched perfectly with all the colors that I added to the inspiration so I was really excited that that worked out these paint brushes and pencils and pens are from a Vicky Booten paper I just cut a small strip of it and fussy cut those guys out just for some little decoration um on the sketch i have journaling strips down this right here but once i found these paint brushes when i was flipping through to find paper for this layout i came across the paint brushes and i thought it'd be perfect for these photos so then i from there i'd found the painted paper first the stampin up paper first and decided to use that and then i found the photos of India that she just painted like a couple weeks ago and then I stumbled upon the paintbrush paper so I thought those would be really cool to add there and in my head I thought I could use them as lines to write my journaling on them as if they were lines or like right on the background paper between them is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, my brain's not being very clear. But um, then I decided that, that I just didn't like that. So I kind of thought I could do journaling on the black ones, like the brushes that are solid black, and then do black with my white Uniball Signo broad, and then do white, use a black pen on the white ones, like the pencils but it I felt like it would just be too busy so I did end up you'll see later I'll do journaling strips on like I'll write on strips of white paper and add them over top but you'll see that in a minute so now I'm pulling these word tiny word strips that are in my printables and those are also linked below with the sketch they're as two separate pdfs if you want either of them, um, I'll have the link down there, but you can go and download them. It's just linked to a Dropbox file, so it's easy to download wherever, but it's saved as a 4 by 6 so whenever you pull it up to print it, make sure your paper is set to 4 by 6 inches to print on. I went ahead and pulled out some wood veneer. That piece says good times the other one said play I think and I couldn't decide because I liked the shapes I like the word for good times better but I kind of like the circular shape better on play but I end up going with good times um now I'm just kind of sprinkling around some embellishments and you can see that paint 
bucket, I moved down to the paint brushes, but it's just not right. And with it there, I didn't know where my journaling was going to go. So I do end up moving it so that I can put my journaling here, like I mentioned again. But first, I'm just going to adhere down some of these pieces. I pull out... These are Paige Evans puffy stickers from a couple of collections ago. I think I got them at Tuesday morning or maybe from Basket Market. That might be where they're from. And then I'm just going to pull out the paint tubes, which aren't really my color scheme at all, but they're paint tubes, so I had to use them, right? And hopefully it's not too loud in here. The air conditioner just kicked on and I have a fan going. It is fairly late. I meant to get this all done earlier in the day and I just didn't get a chance to do the voiceover. So it is not going up. It's like probably 10, 15 right now and it's going to be going up late. Sorry guys, but at least it's going up. <laughs> that's, that's the important part, right? So I'm just adding these little, um, round pieces embellishments around and I'm using Stampin' Dimensionals to add those down and pop them up I guess a little bit and then that's when I moved that paint bucket up to the top and that's chipboard it's from a Maggie Holmes chipboard set but I thought the colors were just perfect with the background and I did pull out some tiny wood veneer stars that I will add in a minute. Here's where I add the little paint tubes, but they're just so cute. I had to use them. I wish they were colors that went better with this, but I do love how, I love that they're just paint tubes. They're cute. Um, I pulled out these, sorry, I keep saying I pulled out, but I'm sorry, it's getting annoying because it's getting annoying to me. So <laughs> I know it has to be getting annoying to you. I am using the Stampin' Up, they're like foam strips, adhesive strips, and I use that just on the bottom part of that wood veneer so that it is the same level as the photo and then just adhered it down like that. These stars are freckled fawn chipboard pieces. I kind of play with them to see where I want the colors to go, but I ended up switching them back anyway, so it's not like it mattered. <laughs> And then I, just because I'm used to chipboard not sticking, I'm sure Freckled Fawn's chipboard is stickier than American Crafts, but I add additional glue no matter what. So they will be sure and be stuck down really well. And then I think at this point is when I decide to do the journaling. Oh no, I'm just adding more stuff. Oh, I add the little paper clips. I just think they're so cute. I don't know when else I would use them. So I just thought they'd be cute because it's paper clips and creativity. It kind of goes together, right? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> and then I adhere the wood veneer with my Nouveau wet adhesive, which is the best adhesive. If you ever are looking for some, it's also got a super fine tip. It's like the finer than the tip that the Scotch quick dry used to have before they screwed it up it's amazing and it never clogs as long as you put your lid on by the time you're done scrapbooking for the evening like it does not clog I've had it clog one time that I've had to take it off and like put a pin through it and it was because I left it all night like that so it is really awesome for my journaling strips I always cut them to a quarter inch wide and it doesn't really matter how long because I can trim them to whatever length I need and I wrote in my journaling and then I kind of lay them to arrange them on here and I use the foam strips, the Stampin' Up! foam strips to pop them up as well. If I adhered them flat, my fear is that you would, not like a huge fear, but like I was a little worried you wouldn't be able to see the paintbrushes and stuff as much. So I thought this way you would still get to see a little bit more of them, like they were floating above the paintbrushes. I don't know. It, it might not make any sense to anyone else, but it made sense to me. And then I did separate the journaling just a little bit. Not that it matters, uh, but I didn't want to cover up that teeny tiny pencil. I thought he was so cute, so I just put it below him. 
and they were kind of separate statements, but they, it all went together, but I thought that was just cute. And then that's pretty much it. I add the date with a Sharpie and then I decide to pull out some Nuvo drops to add in. I think they're bubblegum something. See, I started to show you the layout and then I realized I needed Nuvo drops. So there we go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want this sketch, go below and I will get it linked so that you can download it for free. If you do end up using the sketch or any of the cut aparts or anything, please let me know. I would love to see what you make with it and your version of the layout. Um, if you liked this video, please hit like. If maybe leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite way to use a sketch. Like, do you go image for image and do exactly what the sketch lays out or do you just kind of use it as a rough point do you like to rotate your sketches and use them in a different way stuff like that let me know anything like that because I would love I'm really interested in how other people are using sketches since I'm making them <laughs> and then I'm gonna try to do a couple variations of the sketch later in the week not necessarily that I'll get a process video out but just to show you so hopefully that will be a possibility and then if you want to see more videos and get more sketches or anything like that please hit subscribe so that you and then hit that bell notification so you're notified whenever i post a new video so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and happy scrapping bye